Closer, closer, closer. Three, two, one. Over there. Go, 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 I'm so excited to bring you today with me on a shoot I have for a client. This client of mine uh, is an old one. I, I had a couple of projects with him before and I really like our collaboration. So the point of this video is not to show the features of this Volkswagen Golf, but rather emphasize the fact that his dealership, my client's dealership can actually service Volkswagens. The only limitation I got from, from the client is that since it's a social media video, we're not gonna have it more than 20 to 25 seconds max. So I think the fact that it is limited in that way opens up a bit more creativity. I did come here with a couple of bullet point shots in my head, but some of the shots today will be spontaneous. So let's see how that goes. The first shot that I wanna do, and you'll see what I mean in a second with the structure of the video, the first shot and actually almost the end shot is me with the camera on a gimbal pulling in to the main subject in this angle and then in between we're gonna cut and have some action sequence shot. You'll see on the way what I mean. What I've learned from watching other creators but also from my own mistakes is that when you're using a gimbal like this one or any other gimbal or a steady cam or whatever you really have to practice your ninja walk. Everybody refers to this as the ninja walk so <laughs> I'm gonna refer to it the same. You really have to make sure you're walking as slow as possible because even though the gimbal takes care of of the movement you will have up and down movement because of the way you walk so if i would have to walk just normally like this on the end footage you will probably see an up and down and which is pretty annoying an up and down movement so the way to do it is like this okay we're ready let's go Ninja walk, ninja walk. We're gonna keep the ninja walk. Stop talking, Alex. Pepe in three, two, one, go, 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 go. Awesome. I'm very satisfied with our first and basically end shot as well. We took three instances of that, so I'll just choose what turned out to be best. Right now, my first action shot is basically me filming from the truck of my car, driving in front of the main subject, our Volkswagen for the day. Start with a, a sense of motion, of speed, so I'll basically just uh, film the ground and a little bit of wheels to see to see the motion, and then slowly lift up to see uh, the main subject in focus, and right after that, the car will overtake us. Let's see how that goes. I have a lot of ideas for today. Let's go. Yes. Perfect, Petty. If you can come a bit closer, Petty. Or you can go slower. Yes, Petty, come closer, come closer, come closer. And Petty in 3, 2, 1. Overtake. Overtake, 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 overtake. Awesome. Let's see how that was. Perfect. Woo! Closer, closer, closer. Three, two, one, over there. Go, 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 nice. Perfect. Okay, let's see how this one goes. I turn too much. I turn. I also turn too much, but also too soon. Yeah. Kids, 
don't try this at home, okay? Let's go! So now we're taking a shot that it's uh, it's just for detail and it won't be so long on the screen. We're trying to replicate the time where he he overtook us when I was swimming from the trunk. So all I want now is just him pretending he's overtaking a car. So I'll have a close up on the steering wheel and him just literally signaling signaling left and and, and turning left. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so uh, Peter and I will have a little bromance moment. Watch this. Okay, go whenever you want. Yes, and signal. Can you see from my camera quickly? Mm -hmm. Yeah? I like how the first shot went. I just think we could do a, a bit better. So I just uh, put the camera a bit higher so I can actually see on board when he's signaling. So let's go. So I think this is one of the last shot we're recording today. We're trying to replicate the scene where the car is getting out of the, the frame. So basically when, when it's getting out of the frame this way, we also want to see the driver uh, turning to the right. So let's see, let's see how that goes. Three, two, one, go. Thank you so much for watching so far. Before I say goodbye to you all, I'd like you to see the final edit. I have no idea how it ended up, but I hope you like it. So here it goes. That was cool. Uh, I can't wait to actually get to edit this. I'm really excited to make this kind of videos for you guys a lot more. I know some of them are coming up soon. So stay tuned if you want to see me on set making videos for my clients. So if you really like this video, support me, subscribe, like, hit that bell button, comment. Alex, your hair looked bad today. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.